Hey guys, so today I'm going to um, start working on something with this cute little tray. I want it to be maybe red and sparkly or just red and have a really nice um, resin design in the bottom, which would be maybe red and white or red, pink and white. I think it'll be really cute. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is take this adhesive and I'm going to place it in the seams um, just to make sure that these seams are shut because um, on this tray, there is a little bit of a gap here and I wanna try to close that off. So I'm gonna use this adhesive on the tray this is just a uh, crafter's closet adhesive and i bought this from dollar general so what i'm gonna do to seal any adhesive and make sure it doesn't go everywhere is i'm going to take this scotch tape and i'm going to put it around the edges of the tray and i'm gonna pray so that's pretty much what what we're going to be doing is just hoping that this all goes according to plan. I'm going to start it here. I'm not going to put it around the whole tray. Mostly just around the this side where it has this gap in it. Because I will put the glue on and then I'm going to put the glue on, smush it around the tape on pray a little bit so yeah I've never done anything like this before so I'm not a pro or anything but I feel like I can maybe get this so let me zoom out just a little bit to make sure I get everything in here okay sorry guys so I'm just going Around the seams with the glue and the way this nozzle is it actually seems to be moving around fairly easily this is the part where I'm gonna have to push the tray together to kind of close that gap a little bit but I will do that last but I'm gonna go around the whole tray with the glue just to make sure there aren't any open edges since I'm planning on putting resin in the bottom I'm not too worried about the glue like spreading around the tray so yep I'm gonna use the toothpick now just to make sure the glue is like in the seams Hopefully, um, the tape will come off. <laughs> but yeah, so for this glue, it says that, um, I think it says that you have to leave this in a well ventilated area, um, let it sit for at least 24 hours. So it's almost like having a resin, except in this format. So, I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to leave this here overnight. And then we will finish working with it tomorrow. So that's step one. Hey guys, it's voice over me. So uh, I had all intention of actually talking while I did the entire process. But uh, for some reason on this day, when I came back to do the painting, I uh, I had decided to put on, I think, YouTube, so I had to mute that audio just, you know, to make sure we don't have to worry about getting into any trouble, and I just wanted to come on and let you know that this section is just me painting, so enjoy.
Okay, so I didn't record myself doing this, but I did go ahead and add more paint to the tray. And what I did to get this look, if you guys can see it, is I went ahead and mixed the paint itself with, uh, with this pigment powder. And then I also mixed three different glitters. I mixed this pinky tone here. It's from like a nail set that someone got me for Christmas a long time ago. And then I used this vial of red. And then I also mixed in a ton of silver because I wanted the paint to look less sheer. So what I was seeing with that paint, um, and this is the paint I used just for reference. It just felt like it was not applying as opaquely as I wanted. So I mixed the pigment powder to help give it some, like some thickness for lack of a better word. And then I mixed the glitters in so that it could kind of look more um, shimmery. I want it to shimmer. So what I did to get it to look like thick like this, and it's still wet by the way, but to get it to look like kind of thick, um, I took this popsicle stick here, I scooped the paint out, and then I just kind of globbed it on. So a nice thick layer going all the way around the outside and I also went and did it on the inner parts of or the inner walls of the tray and then on the bottom I just went um, with the paintbrush and made the bottom look even because that part I'm still a little undecided about what I want to do and whether I want to just do a flat layer of resin uh, just to make it a little more sturdy or if I want to give it some type of geode kind of look on the inside um, but once I figure that out I'll probably record like that actual process so that you guys can actually see but this is what we're looking at right now and um, I'll come back once it's dry but you can see that silver glitter in there and I like it looking like it's kind of chunky because it's almost like is it wood is it plastic you can't really tell and I like I like this look um hopefully you guys can hear me I have um my mask on so if this doesn't sound good I would just do a voiceover instead but resin is really um it's really important to wear a respirator because of the fumes so i am going to do resin on the bottom of this tray i have two other trays that i also resined you can see them here i added another layer to this one because i've actually already done this tray this is a new tray um kind of looks like a geometric look and then here's just our little baby tray so before I put the resin in, I actually have some in this little container. I'm going to mix some mica powder in it. Don't want to get any of the powder in like the other um, tray. That looks like a good amount. Just going to mix it and I'm going to mix it as well as I can. It is so, so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let me grab a light. <clears throat> can you see it? Really pretty. So I'm just going to make sure this is mixed really well, which it is.
Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is just check, make sure there's nothing in that I need to like take out, like any random hairs like that. Mm. Alright guys, so this is the final result of the tray. Um, I love it. So one thing that I did do that I didn't show in the video is that when this was almost set, I came through and I swirled a toothpick in the resin and it helped make these little swirlies in the tray. And then um, when this was all dry on the outside, it was very matte. And I wanted it to have a little bit more shine. So I did take an actual um, spray. And I sprayed the entire thing just to add a little sheen. This is actually a satin spray that is on the outside. But what this is going to do now though, it is going to protect the paint. And um, that way, if it happens to get wet, at least on the outside, the paint isn't going to run. Um, I did not put that spray on the inside. So the inside, you can still see how much more matte it was before I actually did the, the spray. But it's so cute. Cute little thing. And if you just have something small that you'd like to sit in it, like know pins or something it's big enough for that it's a four by six tray and um it's a super cute little piece of decor